Nerds, welcome back. I'm Tyler. I've got a really easy project for us this time, and it might actually be one of the more important projects that I've done on this channel. Also considering the fact that it's super cheap and really easy, we're only gonna need one tool to do this, either a drill or a screwdriver if you've got some monster forearms, uh, and we're gonna be using some screws. So, if you know anything about how a house is built, a lot of times they get by with just what will meet the engineering requirements for something. So for example, if you only need a screw this big to hold something in, they're gonna use a screw this big. And it saves on materials, so it makes sense. However, they use stuff like this in your front door and any of your outward facing doors as well. So anything that's on the outside of your house. Um, now, if you've watched any studies online, and there's plenty of them, you'll see that this is a lot easier to pull out of the door jam than something like this. The way that your door frame is built, you have a door jam, which is what your door connects to. It's J-A-M-B if you're gonna be looking this up. And it's basically trim, okay? And that connects to a uh, jack stud, which is only about the, it, it goes from the floor up to your header, which goes above the door. And then you have outside of that, a king stud, which runs from the floor to the ceiling, okay? Now, this three quarter inch screw is only gonna go into that door jam. Again, that's just trim, so there's not a lot holding that in. What we're gonna be doing with this four inch screw is it's gonna go through the door jam, it'll go through the jack stud, and then attach also into that king stud. So this is gonna be securing your door way better. So I'm gonna be, um, I'll show you exactly what I did. It, this is really easy. You probably don't even have to watch the rest of the video if you don't want to. I'm just gonna be replacing some and I'll show you which ones exactly I replaced for this. Let's take a look. All right, so first thing that you'll notice is that my deadbolt strike plate has four screws and my latch strike plate has two screws. Uh, it's not typical, normally it's two screws for each. And with my deadbolt, they have one and a half inch screws in here. It looks like the owners replaced those, which is good, but nowhere near the four inch screws I'm about to replace this with. And as I get down to the latch strike plate, you'll notice that there is a three inch screw at the top and then the three quarter screw, which would be typical for everything. So again, uh, good job with the previous owners. They did some, but they could have done a little bit better just by adding these additional ones in there. And all of my hinges had three quarter inch screws in them. So all I did was replace two, the top and the bottom from each one of the hinges. And as I go through here detailing, you'll see that I have four hinges on my door and it's the top and bottom one for each one I replaced with four inch screws, except for the last one. It seems that in most break-in cases, the bottom gets a lot of the force, so I just put three in here just to be safe. And that's it, job done. That's it, you guys. Easy, wasn't it? Well, if you're still watching, I just wanna take a second and thank you. If the video helped you out, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. If you have stories about what we're doing here today, please share in the comments below. And if you know somebody who may benefit from this video, friends, family, even your neighbors, please share. I find that not a lot of people know about this, so let's get the word out and make sure everyone's safe. Outside of that, thank you guys for hanging with me today. See you next time.